Good afternoon, people. It's one that I know you've been expecting and waiting for. I'm still, I'm sure you can see in the background the 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 cruise campo. Um. Where do we start? Right. Okay. First thing. Um, obviously, as a lot of you know, I kind of cheated in some way. Got kicked out of that um, conflict group that I won't say too much about. There's no point. Let's not worry about that. But. Um, I'm glad I wasn't the only one that got it. It was an hour or so before the link went, wasn't it? it took me a little while, wasn't it? They're a bit slow, one thinks. Um, they kept dip and they sent it out. I mean, you look at it and it does look the part, doesn't it? it you does. think of Sevilla. It's got some nice packaging. And funny enough, I watched Paul's beer reviews and I put a link to him in because he's an absolute legend. He just reviewed this yesterday and he's straight up. Paul's a publican, you know, he's involved with beer, he's done it, been there, got the t-shirt in it. That's why we changed our name around a bit, because everyone, yeah. you can only, you can only find him. I mixed up with him, because he actually knows we're still talking about. Us, yeah, he's, <laughs> bit, he's a bit more brighter than us. This basically works out, and this is 660ml in here for this rubbish, but as I say, do check Paul's review. But that's working out on the Asda, where you buy three, the four for free. That's working out about £1.90 for 660 mil. We're not gonna do that one, that's gonna keep for another video, because otherwise the video will go too long and the only one who'll watch it will be probably me. <laughs> right, but that, 39.99. Well, that for me, I know, tell me if I'm wrong, but that's premium price, isn't it? You know? It is, That's yeah, £2.80 odd, £2.86 or something a pint. Now, when it comes to the perfect draft, and it's £2.86 a pint, there's a massive uproar. But they're like, how much are they charging us to drink at home? At least nine times out of ten, unless you're talking to Budweiser, which we won't go into on this review, but at least they're giving you quality. Do you know? Well, we've got to be fair, okay? We've bought this keg, so you've got to try it and be fair yeah. One, and see what it's like. You One, can't just say yeah. it's going to be horrible. I got an email, and I was very vulnerable at the time because I was very annoyed with Perfect Draft because of the Budweiser, right? I got an email and there was money off uh, these machines and everything, and it said new keg. Now, my stupid me did not for one minute think of Cruise Campo. I was thinking of line, lines along a lot of other things, which I won't go into because obviously that's what. In their defence, Heineken Blade, and I don't like them, let's be honest, but that's what people ask for in that conflict group, and that's what you got. So, like, Everyone that I know that's got a blade, or nine out of ten people, are not happy about it. Yet all these people ask for that. That and the, the salty moretti we got down there. That's what they ask for. That more so than anything. And let's be honest, that's brewed in Edinburgh. <laughs> Apart from in name, it's absolutely nothing to do with Spain. You know, I've, I don't think I've actually seen a beer in Spain. That I mean, we've drank Cruz Campo. We've gone on sessions in the Linear. We've drank Cruz Campo in Barcelona, although Estrella's always a little bit better, especially from the pump. We've drank it in Marbella. It's a decent pint. You're talking about 5.6, the lowest one. Some of the cans are 4.8 or 4.9, aren't they? Yeah. So where this 4.4 rubbish even comes from is just insulting our intelligence. Now, I know it's hypocrite, it's hypocrite getting the blade in the first place. I get that, and it's hypocritical to buy that because of my beliefs about what they're doing to us here, right? But I brought this to take one for the team and so I can moan, because I like moaning, as Michelle says. So I'm basically saving you lot, if you listen to this review, 39 99 Unless... Unless it's good. It I'm well be. I'm, you know, I'm of the, of the sort of way about me that I'm not going to say something bad about something that I haven't tried, okay? Yeah. I've not tried this on this machine yet, so I'm gonna give it a fair go. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, I don't have a Cruise Campo glass. If you check my Cruise Campo review out 11 months ago when I was actually in a pub and I poured it myself on draft, and I had six pints just to make sure it was still rubbish, wasn't it? And he actually offered me as many glasses as I wanted. Mm -hmm. I didn't take the glass, so I said I'll never need one, and I'll only ever have this once, rest assured. I'm gonna use a Hackney Church Brewing glass. Now the reason that is, it's one of my favourite glasses, and it's one of my favourite breweries. Do check out their website. And by the way, they will never ever lower their <laughs> ABVs. 
that's from the owner. Never. Right, here we go. I won't bother swilling a bit through, as someone said earlier, with the Heineken one. I'll take my chances because I don't think I'll be doing a pint of this in a way. That's not pouring bad, though. Is it? The first pour. Not too bad, is it? I've done worse, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a lot worse. <laughs> first pour out the machine. You know what it's like. Um, but it has got. Carbonated, isn't it? Yeah, reasonably so. <laughs> it just takes you back to balls. <laughs> it's kind of smelling how I'd expect it to smell. You're getting a little bit of maltiness there. A little bit. When she says a little bit, I can't actually smell a thing. So maybe I'm missing something here. I was expecting maybe, I don't know, a little bit of... You know, Heineken are, are laughing, aren't they? Cruise Campo must be getting a cart with its own by Heineken anyway. I mean, it dates back to 1904. There's a rich history. And like, you had it on the... Um, sub. Sub. Two versions of it, which were absolutely it banging. Was good. Both it was reviewed good by ourselves before you sound <laughs> too much towards perfect draft. It's cold. It is cold. And it is properly cold. And that's pulled out quite nicely. The head on that is retaining quite well. It is a, yeah, it's a nice thick head, I must admit. Probably helped by the quality of the glass, if I'm honest, isn't it? Probably. So, but for me, very little malt in this there, is there? There's a little bit of, 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 a, of a sweet malt that is so in the background. There's no fruit, there's no zestiness, there's no... Hoppiness. No, definitely none of that there. <coughs> but there you go, the proof is in the pudding with a taste. Yeah. Wanna go first? No, no, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a fair man. I like to play it play it fair. Are we in for a shock? I think the only thing that's shocking about that is what they charge you for it. Jesus Christ. Wow. I would um, just say it's, it's another generic lager, but it's actually worse than that. Oh dear. That's that's just wrong. That's actually worse than the one. It hasn't even got the sweetness. It, um, right. It's, this, it's basically, it's tasting like fizzy water with uh, a nasty kind of um, artificial bittery kind of metallic -y taste on the end. If that had been rolling around in a can somewhere and not stored properly, I would be expecting that kind of taste on the end of it. That, I, that's really leaving an unpleasant aftertaste in my mouth. That is poor. That is poor. You're not getting any that poor. That's You're just... not getting any citrus taste in there. The only thing that just... I'm really getting on my palate is this artificial, slight bitterness, but not like in a nice way that you get with pills now. It, it's like this artificial, metallic -y kind of bitterness. That's not pleasant at all. I actually thought that, um, that um, Budweiser was bad, where they lowered it from five and they totally ripped it apart. That is, that is RIP to what, in effect, Cruz Campo is one of Spain's finest lagers. And let's be honest, there's a lot of good lagers in Spain. There's a lot of things that Heineken own. There's a lot of avenues they could have gone down, <coughs> but they chose to go down these, I can only say idiots in a group that actually wanted this. Um, I don't get now, it. <clears throat> for me, yeah, there are, there are a lot of people that do drink this out in the pubs, that mm. wanted this on the machine. It is popular. I don't get it. I'm... Is it because maybe it's so nothingy, it doesn't taste of anything, it's like fizzy water. Maybe it's because people's palates just aren't used to tasting it's from Seville. decent it looks good. beer with, with a good taste. Yeah, but, yeah, but hold on a minute, you're missing a point here. On the I contrary, don't... on the contrary here, Blade owners, and a lot of Blade owners did want this. I'd say, only one or two that I know, but I'm not exactly Mr. Popular with a lot of them because of my perfect draft connections or X connections and 
Now, on but if books. you've got other people who wanted this and you do like this, and that is totally your problem. If I'm, I'm not slating anyone for what their likes or dislikes are. Well, no, this. Why did you want it? What is it about this particular beer yeah. that you like? Well, because I would love to hear from people who do drink it regularly and do like it. I mean, it might just be because I've experienced lots of different beers and I like bold, punchy beers that have got different flavours, good flavours to them. Maybe that's why I'm just not getting this. But there's nothing to it, is there? It, it, that is a it, nut. It's that aftertaste that really does me because that's just not pleasant. You just can't. Tell me something positive about that beer in all due honesty. And we've got 14 pints. Why are we doing another okay. pint? The only thing we can say positive about this beer is it's cold. Yeah. And it is ice cold. That's probably saving it in all due honesty. Yeah. If you if didn't that drink gets... that quick and it got yeah. warm, I would say it'd be pretty much undrinkable. You know, um, you've got your Fosters, your Carlin, your Carlsberg. That is just like them. It's, actually, Fosters actually, I would say, taste better than that. I just don't know. But as I say, I know that, and as I say, oh, I, I, I get with Heineken Blade to please the masses of a, of a beer group. But like, Jesus, do, do they spend that much money in there or something? Are they really that important? That, that Heineken is a massive, huge industry, as you all know, like AB InBev. And there's so many better options that people wanted and that people, you know. You, I actually it, wanted to go into this and find something positive to say about this beer because he went out, he got the machine. I want to feel positive about it, even though I got so surprised when I got another one. Um, I just, I just can't the, say anything positive. The about Heineken this. yesterday was fantastic. Um, yeah, that's do fantastic. check the review. Um, I absolutely, and that is what these machines are made for. That machine is worth its weight for for that Heineken yesterday. Uh, it was good. I didn't have to gulp it all down quick. Even yeah. as it started to warm up a bit, I could drink it. And obviously the keg went last night. Hence why that one's in. I won't be drinking that. There's 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 no way. I've got a live um, later. I'm on Simo's birthday, and there's no way. Well, I could. I'm I'm not gonna let that go. But that's what you say. Forty pound for money. Mm. So I'm not going to let that go to waste. I will drink cool. it for the principle that he paid for it. Um, There's a horrible bit in this though. I'm, I'm going to be sticking some lime, like lime juice, I mean, or something in there because we had Brixton on the blade that a lot of people right. liked, oh, which I was we couldn't. That's the only cake we ever finished on the last time of the blade. Now I palmed it off to someone else. We would have drank it sooner or later, but that honestly, that is. That's just wrong, you know. Um, and it's mm. such a good machine. It's not worth your electricity having that rubbish on. It is. It's that, that aftertaste that's doing it for me. That. There is nothing that I could shout about that. I said the best thing, and I've said that before I even poured it. There's your glass, Hackney Church Brewing. <laughs> Rate my beer 25, 25% discount. Go and get yourself a decent beer because if you think this good, have Hackney's lower range. You want anyone from Hackney Church? Sorry, sorry for putting that rubbish in your glass. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jacob and Hamish, please. Do accept my apologies. It's a one-off. Um, I've got my Hackney Church jumping on as well, Dad, so, you know. It's, I could talk staff next like I was a perfect draft. It really, really is. Um, it's a travesty, basically, um, in our opinion. A lot of you, I mean, this will be controversial, the video, because I know a lot of you like it. The Heineken is the same price, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Don't buy this. Buy the Heineken. It's, it's much, much better. And the 4.4, oh, I don't know if there was any alcohol in it, I'd be amazed. Oh, I can't. I just can't do it. No, 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 no. There you go. Um, I had a sneaky feeling. I jumped in. But I wanted to, to do some of the other things with the blade again. I'm going to do the cider. I'm going to do my singer again. I'm going to do the slightly weaker Elderweiss again. So you never know. They might give us Paul Anna or Oktoberfest. Probably not. They'll probably give you the... Marie salt next, but you know, that is what a lot of you asked for, so. I don't, I don't get it. So, um, if I had a scorecard, I haven't got one on me. I could only give that a one. Um, no, I'm not sure I could give it up. Um, yeah, let's go along with it for a one, because it, you know, it's. It's absolutely poor. It's, yeah. And it's more expensive than the Budweiser. Budweiser got a two. I've got one because it's more expensive per pint so there you go what can i say thanks for watching um 
you know, do let us know. The people that do like it. Michelle actually asked today if we could go around the pubs and, and try and people, speak to people. See people who want to talk. And not because I, I, I want to have a go at them for drinking this. I just really want to see what people, why people like this. It, it intrigues me a little bit. Stuns me. So many better options. But each time I Maybe people say it's a smooth, easy drinker. Mm. That'd be a lie. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bonjour.